there is no way, there is absolutely no way I would have stuck with Tracy Anderson this long if it weren't for the fact that I create YouTube videos about it. Because one, I would not research it as much. And two, I have had so many ups and downs and I fixate on the downs. There've been so many times I'm like, is this really working? Am I getting the results I want? And thank goodness for the Tracy Anderson community because I've been talked off the ledge so many times. Just keep going. And the whole purpose of this video should you feel this way now or feel this way in the future is to give you some perspective for why you should just keep going. Hi, I'm Rachel. Each week I create content around the Tracy Anderson method. I also create content around other random things that are legit helping me in my life that may be in how I look, feel, stuff I just think is interesting and figure I'll share with you. If that's of interest to you, would love for you to subscribe. If not, I get it. I don't subscribe to a lot of channels too, but I am so glad I have stuck with the program despite all the many times I've been skeptical of it. Why have I been skeptical? Because yes, there are days where I feel absolutely great about my body. I feel like my core is being pulled in. And for somebody who basically always has had a distended tummy, that's been a miracle. I also don't have joints that hurt anymore. I love how it makes me feel. It makes me feel accomplished. There's all these things. But then there are days where I feel like my body's not where it should be given all the hours I spend, given all the studying of this method that I do. There are times that I, I doubt it. And I know I'm not alone in that because other Tamers have reached out to me questioning. I've been doing it for a month. I've been doing it for two months. I'm not seeing results. And I've got to tell you what others have told me. Just keep going. In addition to just keep going, I want to give you some advice before you completely throw in the towel if you ever find yourself on the brink now or in the future. These are the things I remind myself so that I stay in the game. And by the way, if you decide ultimately that you don't want to do the Tracy Anderson program anymore, there is nothing wrong with that. There are plenty of great options out there. Tracy Anderson is not the end all be all. Although, you know, I'd like to think so most days, there are a lot of awesome programs out there. But those times where you're doubting it, this is my advice for you. And this is the advice I give to myself. So first, if you're not already, be sure to track your cycle. And given where you're at in your cycle, you may find that like clockwork, certain times of the month, you feel heavier than you usually do, which whatever program you're doing, you may doubt it. You would think me being a grown woman, I would know what to expect and I would know, oh yeah, that's right, this, this is my cycle that makes me feel hormonal and crazy. No, I have to, um, refer to my flow app to confirm. So track your cycle, track how you feel. That may indicate to you that maybe it's not the program, maybe it's mother nature. On that note, something I'm gonna start doing with my five minute journal is to start notating how I feel in my body each day. Because I think by doing that, I may be able to find themes. I may be able to trace that say a majority of the days I feel great about my body and then maybe not so great, say 10% of the time. I would like to have more metrics around that because whenever I'm feeling down, it feels like I've always felt down. It's very easy to dramatize that. If what I'm saying right now is resonating with you, you may want to do that too. Uh, because I already do the five minute journal, I feel, figure I'll just add an entry to just notate quickly how I feel. If you're doing the Tracy Anderson method and you don't feel like you're getting the results you want, you may want to revisit how you're doing the moves. It's so important to really engage in the moves. And the best way I can describe it is to act as if you're almost resisting something. Like in the best analogy I can come up with is being underwater. When you're underwater, you really have to engage all your muscles and you want to do the same thing with Tracy Anderson. And that requires a lot of attention. It requires you to be present, but it, I know when I started doing that because I watched other Tamers and I could see in their form 
that they were very, they were really engaging their muscles. There was a big difference in how they were doing it. That has made all the difference. And when Tracy speaks to the importance of performing and really engaging, that's what I think she means. I've, I've mentioned these uh, Instagrams before, but be sure to follow Erica Boom. She exemplifies beautifully what it means to engage your whole body, as well as Kylie from Finding the Angles. She really studies the moves and she executes them. And she's a great example that I've studied to see how I can improve the moves. So be aware of what else may be going on to influence how your body is looking and feeling. That could be hormones, that could be your diet, maybe you're taking on too much sodium, maybe you're drinking too much. <laughs> All those things have influenced the way I look and feel at times. And then be sure to revisit, are you doing the moves correctly? Is there opportunity for you to engage more? And the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. This is a long-term play. And again, this is the reason why I'm so glad I've stuck with it this long. And then we talked about dance cardio plenty of times, but even if you can't do dance cardio, make time to be active throughout the day. If you think about it, as great as Tracy Anderson is, I realize if I'm doing 30 minutes of metamorphosis and then I'm sitting at my desk all day in this very cute blouse, I may not get as good as a result as if I were to make time for a long walk, go for a long bike ride, whatever it is, but to be active, that's really gonna help out a lot. And then something else that I think is really important that I really wanted to touch on today is the importance of letting go. What I mean by that is we can put so much pressure on ourselves. And in my experience, the more pressure I put on things, the more I push away what I actually want. And it's a kind of universal energetic thing, I think. Instead of being so forceful and getting results, I found that if I can step back and be okay with either outcome, all right, if I, <laughs> if I, don't cure my acne by going to this alternative doctor, then I'm just gonna go back on Accutane. If I don't find the man of my dreams, I'm just really gonna invest in my friendships and live an awesome single life. If I don't get this job that I'm applying for, I'm just gonna be putting more attention towards YouTube. And then when it comes to this whole ideal body, if I don't get the ideal body with Tracy Anderson, if I don't look like a Tracy Anderson goddess, well, I'm going to continue this method and put more attention to feeling good and put more attention to why I do the method in the first place. And then I'm going to embrace my body as it is. Maybe I'm gonna update my wardrobe, work with a stylist and work with what I have. I'm convinced in my experience that when I take away that pressure, I'm okay with either outcome, even the outcome I don't necessarily want, things tend to work in my favor. This is something I've been doing since I was really young, but I get out of the habit of it. There's a book called Letting Go by David Hawkins. I mean, it's a real, it's, it's, if you're into being introspective and personal development, it's, it's a great one. I figured that may be some perspective that may help too. So many of the women that follow Tracy Anderson are high performing professionals, perfectionists. And I think it's very common to be very hard on ourselves. If you've chosen that you're going to dedicate time, a long stretch of time to Tracy Anderson method, you may want to suspend the constant body checking, the constant assessments of yourself, and focus on the other benefits of the method. These are just ideas I'm sharing with you. These are all things that I'm reminding myself. I am not an expert. I'm figuring this out just like everybody else. I just happen to put together videos on it every week. And thank goodness I do because there is no way I would have stuck with it this long. But by knowing that I'm glad I have, I wanna do everything I can to encourage others to do the same. My relationship with food is much improved. My confidence, my balance, my joint health, on and on and on. And whatever way I can help others stick with this, and stay for those awesome benefits, I'm all for. As with every video, thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, it seriously does help to like it. And if you wanna see more videos like this one, would love for you to subscribe. And you know the deal, just stick around for this week's quote.